I'm Elke, and I'd like to introduce uh, this book to you, Khalid Hosseini's and the Mountains Echo. This book has touched me no, like no other book. It's a gem, it's a beauty about the human condition. It's about universal truth, about love of family, ties that bind, ties that break. It's an unforgettable book of finding a lost piece of yourself. It transcends all religions, all cultures, all faiths. That sometimes uh, families get broken up due to political reasons. Sometimes families get fractured because uh, the individual members are striving towards freedom. They want to lead their own life. Their life seem, at home seems too narrow. They're on that little island. They like to break out. Uh, Mr. Hosseini uh, started out with the kite runner. Um, that's a story when the Taliban was in Afghanistan. Uh, perfectly, uh, perfect novel uh, about that time, very dark, uh, kind of depressing, but a very good novel. Then he moved on to A Thousand Splendid Sons, which basically described the harsh lot of women in Afghanistan. And now he moved on to And the Mountains Echoed. Again, this book has its start in Afghanistan, but here he spreads out to the whole cosmos. We also visit a tiny island in Greece, Tinos. Um, uh, we uh, have family members in Paris and also in San Francisco. In all those places, uh, people are searching for the same thing. They're searching for love, acceptance, freedom from their um, confined er areas. They are looking for a better life for themselves. Uh, and try to reach it, but as I said, some people rather like to be in a confined area because they're afraid of what's out there. Um, the novel starts out actually with a story, uh, the parable, that Baba tells his children, Abdullah and Pari, who eventually get separated. Um, the story goes as such. Uh, Jin comes to town, it's an ogre, and he demands a sacrifice. Uh, you have to give up one of your children. If you don't give up a child, then um, all your children will be taken from you. Now, can you imagine that as a parent? You will have to give up a child. Which one is it? What future will it have? Will the ogre be good to the child? Will the ogre abuse the child? It's a tough decision to make. Uh, the book is written from multiple points of view uh, in a nonlinear structure. I started uh, listening to it on CD, and it was kind of difficult, I must admit, because there's so many characters, so many different timelines. Uh, halfway through, I switched to the book, and that is well worth it, because you see the names uh, on the page, and you get all the connections, and you have time to actually savor each moment and do your weeping in between. The book also almost appears as if it was short stories, but they all come together at the end. You really have to read it all the way to the end, and it will end on a positive note. And I can only say, Mr. Hosseini, um, at least to this reader and reviewer, you have transcended all faiths, and I get weepy here, countries, and you have shown us what makes us all human, uh, what's really deep in our hearts. You have to read it. Whatever faith you are, I believe you will get something out of it.